It has been a little more than 10 years since Jose Vivar's life changed for the better. He was a gang leader in the city of Toronto, and in 2007, he was arrested in a police raid, sentenced to more than 10 years in prison. While he was in prison, he developed a fitness program, and the rest is history. Jose's story is now the subject of a new documentary called Prison Pump. He is our guest in studio this morning. Great to have you here to hear your story firsthand. Thank you for having me. You have said you were happy when you got arrested back in 2007. Why? It was more relieved. So when you're in that trap, I was, I was trapped in the lifestyle. It gets to a point where you're just competing with other drug dealers, where you're trying to, you know, one-up everybody. A newer car, jewelry, a bigger house, and I just felt trapped. I just felt trapped. So. Being arrested was just like, you know what, it's finally over. When you were in prison, you earned your personal uh, training certificate, you started your fitness program, which is called 25-7. What was your turnaround moment? Because for a lot of people, they hit prison, they come back out, they repeat the same cycle. Yes. Prison was actually gave me opportunities. Prison actually, I looked at prison as a way to make up for lost time. I knew I was doing eight and a half years, so I looked at it. First thing is, I gotta make up for lost time with in improved health the whole negative to positive, which is our mantra, mm -hmm. you can turn any negative situation into a positive. So I got my university degree mm -hmm. in the penitentiary, mm -hmm. and the rest was just history, just aligning myself with thinkers, aligning myself with people that want to progress in life. So you were able to turn a negative to a positive, but then a negative came back to visit you in 2016. You were teaching a class, and you were shot, and your family was there. How concerned are you for your safety today? I just got to walk with God. I just have to be, why am I going to live as a prisoner? I already did eight and a half years. I just feel that I have to, you know, it's, it's what we put out into the world. If mm -hmm. we put out positive energy into the world, positive energy is going to come back. It's the law of attraction. So now that I'm not doing negative things, I just have to hope for the best. If uh, that makes sense. 25-7 is the name of your program. Why that name and why is it still so important to you? I got that from Floyd Mayweather because we put in an extra hour. It's not just 24 mm -hmm. hours. We get put in that extra hour of work and seven days a week we work out hard, harder than anyone else. You were part of the drug scene in Toronto. Uh, you were arrested back in 2007. 2008 was, you know, record number of deaths in our yes. city. We're seeing uh, record numbers of homicides in our city right now. Given the experience you had before, what are you seeing and what are some possible solutions in the city of Toronto? So 25-7 Fitness right now, we're developing a program where we want to arm influential youth, youth that are involved in gangs and guns. We want to teach them business skills. We want to give them grant money. We want to align them with other successful businessmen that have lived experience, and they're going to have to sign contracts. We can give you $50,000 to run a business, but we want a one-year contract that you're completely out of the game. And, and this works because you say the main motivator for a lot of these guys is money? The main motivator is money. There are people that will say lifestyle and kind of like the hype that comes with the gang lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But in order to fuel that lifestyle, you need money. So the prime motivator is money. And we need to teach these kids that there's other ways to making money um, instead of selling drugs, instead of, you know, exploiting women and so forth. All right, this new documentary that we mentioned off the top yes. called Prison Pump, what was that experience like for you to have to relive that, delve into all of that again? It's hard to relive it. I'm really impressed with, with how the story was told and how it came out. Prison Pump, it's all about turning a negative into a positive, and Prison Pump is our signature workout, which we developed in prison, which can be done anywhere. So the free fitness movement, all of our gyms are free, all of our classes are free, hmm. and you know, I use prison as a way to escape. I just prison when I was in prison. I wanted just to get my mind beyond the walls. It's an incredible story. We're so glad that you are here to be able to tell it with Thank us. Thank you for having me.